Welcome back to TCM. I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Earlier this afternoon, we saw Ruby D in a 1982 adaptation of Eugene O'Neill's Long Day's Journey into Night. Up next, D returns in a film she made two decades earlier, another adaptation of a landmark stage play. From 1961, co-starring Sidney Poitier, it's A Raisin in the Sun. The original play, written by Lorraine Hansberry, opened in 1959 and made history as the first play by a black woman produced on Broadway. Both Ruby Dee and Sidney Poitier originated their roles in that stage version. The story centers on the Younger family, led by matriarch Lena Younger, a proud woman who, along with her recently deceased husband, has raised her family in a crowded kitchenette apartment on Chicago's South Side. Her son, Walter Lee, has a wife and young son of his own, and his ambitions for the family conflict with his mother's. The conflict is only heightened when they receive a highly anticipated insurance check for $10,000 and have to decide what to do with the money. From the time he first read Lorraine Hansberry's play, Sidney Poitier was eager to play Walter Lee. I was overwhelmed by the power of the material, he later wrote. The playwright's fix on the Black experience was truly uncanny. She designed a plot structure and characters so refreshingly real that just reading her play was an uplifting experience. By the time Poitier starred in this film version, he knew the character inside and out. He's joined here by most of the original Broadway cast, including Ruby Dee, Claudia McNeil, Diana Sands, Ivan Dixon, and Lou Gossett Jr. From 1961, here is A Raisin in the Sun. Both Sidney Poitier and Claudia McNeil, who played Lena Younger, earned Tony nominations for originating their roles in the 1959 Broadway production of A Raisin in the Sun. But despite the loving bond between their characters, the two actors were at odds throughout the run of the stage play and during production of the film. The conflict arose from their different ideas about the material. Claudia McNeil felt that the play was ultimately about the mother's struggle, while Poitier thought the play only worked if it unfolded from Walter Lee's point of view. In one of his memoirs, he explained, if the play is told from the point of view of the mother and you don't have an actor playing the part of Walter Lee strongly, then the end result may very well be a negative comment on the black male. In addition to Poitier and McNeil, the cast also included many of the other actors who'd originated their roles on Broadway, including Ivan Dixon, who played Joseph Asagai. Dixon first came to Hollywood in 1957 at the encouragement of his friend Sidney Poitier. Viewers may best remember him as Kinchlow on the 60s sitcom Hogan's Heroes, and he turned in a stunning performance in Michael Romer's 1964 drama, Nothing But a Man. In the 1970s, Dixon largely focused on directing for film and television. Poitier later said Dixon was, quote, a truly talented actor whose potential was never realized. Up next, Sidney Poitier returns in one of his most memorable roles, an Oscar-winning drama from 1967, co-starring Rod Steiger. Next on TCM, in the heat of the night, then when we were kings, and later, hoop dreams, TCM leaves it all on the court tonight.